What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, abuelitas, mamas, papas, abuelos, everybody, welcome um, to a very momentous uh, occasion on the podcast. Um, yes. We just going in? We're we just... have a massive announcement. Massive, um, huge, game-changing, life-changing. Definitely um, game-changing. Definitely. Definitely game-changing, game uh, both for us and for YouTube as a whole. Um, from this moment forth... This was a very emotional decision from the three of us. We will no longer be Yankee football. We're blowing that shit up. We're done yep. with it. We took it out back, shot it in the head. And, it gone. Uh, <laughs> it gone. It's gone forever. Paramedics can't bring it back. All right. That's, uh, that's how it went down. We are going to be called from now on Dead Ball TV. That is going to be the channel name. Dead Ball DBTV. That's how, that's how y'all want to refer to us. Totally fine. but. Just personally, me, I, I felt like we weren't talking enough about American stuff to be Yankee football. I mean, yeah, to warrant that name, we talk even though about Connor it. and I are wearing USA jerseys right now, yeah, we don't talk about it enough. Yes, <laughs> that's for later on in the video. Spoilers. <laughs> yes, that was more like a uh, I don't know a tribalist thing that we came up with when we were like, "What the hell do we call the channel?" And I think it, it served was. its purpose. It did. We're Yanks. We're Yanks talking about football. But I, the fact that we talk about so many niche subjects out yeah. there or just stuff that isn't covered internationally, we're a pretty diverse group of lads here. Yeah, that's definitely. coming from the redheaded white guy. So, yeah, we're yes. we're spanning a few continents here. And uh, <laughs> not only do we talk about soccer, we talk about football as well. Right. <laughs> we do. We do. And. I feel like people were seeing the channel and they were seeing Yankee football and they were like, why the fuck is this guy, this racially ambiguous guy on a channel called Yankee football talking about the Mexican national team? Like it probably was just confusing a lot of people. And so we kind of decided let's go with something, one that we thought sounded cool. And hopefully you guys agree that dead ball TV sounds sick. And, and also one that doesn't quite pigeonhole us quite as much. Like we can talk about Argentina now and it's not like, we're, we're called like the Maracana football, you know, like mm -hmm. that would be weird. People would be like, why is this channel talking about uh, the Argentine national team? So now we, I don't know. We just feel like we have a little more flexibility. I think the branding's a bit better. There's a lot of Yanks too, man. Let's be real. Like no hate towards them. It's just, it's a, it's a overused name at this point. It's hella saturated. Yep. So we wanted to come up with something completely original, like um, death to honor the, uh, the falling of our, uh, Yes. Our old name. And on that note, um, let's let's raise a glass of definitely water. Um, it's about time. To, it's about time. To the channel. Uh, oh. In memory, in memoriam. Does anybody want to say any last words? In loving memory of Yankee football, you got us to 1,300 <laughs> subs. You'll always be our first love, but it's time to move on. Outstanding. Cheers, all gentlemen. All right, boys. Cheers. And to all those watching. So now that we're Deadball TV... Y'all want to talk about this motherfucker? And this is our new logo, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you almost made me spit my water out of the fucking yep, camera. That's, that's, that's our right. first topic. The hot dog carrying a pint of beer. Bro, it looks like uh, Mini Hut Jr. from Spongebob. It looks like what their logo was. I swear to God. I'm going some, to some, have to pull that up after the episode. But that's what that reminded me of immediately. I stepped um, my toe in my spice garden and I only cried for 45 minutes. Thank God Mitchell isn't here. Um, <laughs> otherwise, we'd be talking about Weenie Hut Jr. for an hour, and we don't got that kind of time. But anyway, guys, we just want to let y'all know about the name switch. Um, we'll probably give it like a day or two before we make the change completely official. We're going to make sure people know so they don't wake up and they're like, yo, who the hell is Deadball TV? Why they're going to read some sub, fire please. tweet, and they're going to be like, hmm, this really reminds me of Yankee football. Like, I wonder what those guys are up to. And then you can't yeah. find us. It's us. Now, it's I cannot us. stress this enough. Your grandmother, she's getting a little bit older. Her memory's not what it used to be. You got to let her know. You got to mm -hmm. tell her. And, I mean, after this rebranding, uh, it's, it's going to be dangerous. We might lose a lot of our older audience. So be sure to remind yeah. your loved ones um, of the change. And after this somber news, I think uh, uh, it calls for uh, a fun episode, you could say. So no, yeah. no yes. um no heavy handed momentous uh no more tears this week no more tears Wipe we're not going to talk about right man now. united we're not going to talk about man united we're not going to talk about my fantasy about premier league scores um we're not fuck talking you about guys and my group um i'm bottom of the table right now but uh, like i said we're not going to talk about that <laughs> <laughs> what we're going to yes. talk about 
<laughs> something very important and near and dear to all of our hearts. Arguably, the lads of the U- arguably, arguably the most important thing we could talk about. Oh yes, unequivocally, yeah. uh, unequivocably, the most We're, important topic going into the World Cup. Yes, is that a word? The biggest thing that everyone is talking about. I'm sure you've seen it everywhere. We're going to be grading the football hairstyles for the U.S. men's national team. Outstanding. This is very important. So we've got our game faces on. Oh, my God. Um, like we were drinking water before this. I'm scared I'm going to pull a hammy. There's going to be some uh, hot takes flying around. So Yeah, this, is, this could get heated real quick. So buckles up. Oh, yeah. buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. God knows where this is going to go. Zach Steffen, Connor is your favorite player. Um, my guy, wh- my boy. What y'all, what y'all thinking on this one? Because he's, I, I he's got, got the nice fade. I got to say. I, I got does. two words, two words okay. for this whole collection. Ready? Okay. That's Fuck here. boy central. Fuck boy oh, central yes. right here. Yeah. He mm-hmm. looks like he's going to get in trouble in Dubai. <laughs> this man better take a solemn vow of chastity Dude. before whatever religious organization he's affiliated with mm-hmm. or just within himself, if none, apply. Um, because that's going to be dangerous walking around uh, Qatar looking like that. Um, my man is locked, loaded, ready to go. He's ready to get in trouble at the club. He looked like he drank nothing but uh, uh, Alizé and uh, and hard liquor straight on the rocks, maybe. you know. I don't yeah. even know what Alizé is. I'm probably too broke to know what that you is. You are. I confirmed. <laughs> you heard it here for Slides the Jones. Yes. He looked like, in that right photo, he looked like he got CEO in his bio on Instagram. Like, yeah, tell me of like some isn't... unknown company that no one knows of. He's yes. just like CEO. Yes, yes. yes. He, he's entrepreneur. Like a, he's a freelance photographer, but he's got yeah. CEO and God first as the first two things in his bio. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, the man looks like he should have a neck tat. He looks like he needs a neck tattoo in this. Yeah, I could yeah. see that. Right? I could see that. Yeah. So... I think his hair is, you know, I would say overall, just not knowing anyone who's who's coming next is he's probably top tier of the men's national team. It's got to be. It's got to be top five. His beard, oh, though, yeah. for me, needs a little trimming. Looks okay. a little scruffy on the bottom. I That's feel fair. like. That's fair. Yeah. 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 Like, I would much rather a clean line. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. See, like in that, in that, uh, the Middlesbrough, is that Middlesbrough the, uh, on yeah. the left? His hair, like when it when it's not as tall, it doesn't look as good. He looks you like he's I mean? eighteen in that. Yeah, yeah. Like he looks really young in that kit for some reason. Yeah, I I, I think I would give him. I think I give it a. I think I give him a, an A minus. Yeah, A minus for me. What Completely unbiased for me. I'm gonna give it an A plus plus. Okay. Wow. All right. No, no, no. I'll give it an A because yeah, the beard the beard could use some work. He needs to hop on the. Uh, what is that nutritional supplement that they fucking market on Instagram all the time that I no. obviously don't need? Athletic Greens, that one? Something like that. Something like that. The yeah. little derma roller that you fucking put on your face. Oh, I, I don't get those ads, bro. I'm going to be honest with you. That they always crazy. hit me with that, and I'm like, I, I, don't miss me with They must shit. know it's, uh, it's target audience. For it's sure. target yeah. audience, I guess. Exactly. Yeah. All right, so we got an A. We got an A minus. Would you, would you give it, Jake? An A, I'd say. Okay. 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 Yeah. So yeah. A, A overall. A overall Pretty unanimous. for Mr. Stefan, the second yeah. goalkeeper for the US. Let's uh third. third All right. Race. So this one this oh. one might split opinions. So I don't think I've <laughs> ever seen the back of his head. Yeah, that's why I put that up there. I haven't either. <laughs> <laughs> this boy, this dude looks like the Coors Light logo. He looked like he got a sponsorship with Coors dude, Light. He no spent way too much time in fucking. Dude, Colorado. this is this is too much. And I'm gonna already say the grade. It's a fucking F. No, it is not. It is dude. an F, bro. Dude, you can't have this haircut and be straight booty cheeks like dude, he is. This is a strong B plus. No, it's a strong B plus. He looked like he just signed a Gucci Mane's label, to be fair. <laughs> Especially with that chain. That shit looked thick in that first picture. That shit but I think, look th- it looked heavy. See, I think it looks a bit awkward with that pink, that pink Miami. He looked like a snow cone on the far right. He does. But he I does, feel like yep. in a white US kid, I feel like it would look clean. Like he looked he looked good in the middle pick. I it's it gives me 
me uh, it gives me Coors Light. Right pick with the Miami kit. He looked like uh, Bahama Bucks. He looked like he, uh-huh. you know, he got looks like the and blueberry and, and the cotton candy. Yeah, yeah, there it is. It's, it's, there it is. There it is. Bad. The man look, and look, he got the cleats to match at the bottom. So I don't know. look, uh, look, yeah. the man, the man, the man went strong and wrong. I'm gonna give him a B because it's better okay. than a lot of his other haircuts. Um, it's definitely not my favorite, but it's the best DeAndre Yedlin cut we've seen in a while. Yeah. Um, and uh, and yeah, I don't know if that that hairstyle is is gonna fly in Qatar, but we'll it's, see. It's an F. The Qatari secret police is gonna <laughs> escort this man straight to jail whenever he gets yeah. on the tarmac. They're, this they're is gonna immediate give watch him... list. Immediate yeah, watch are. list. He's gonna get off the plane, and they're gonna be like, oh, no, 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 now, no, no, now, no. now, yeah. now. I will Look, say, if he for him, check his suitcase, if he dies in red, security check. If he dies okay. in red, okay, for the U.S., I think that would be cool. Okay, but that blue the it, it, it's just like a polar ice blue or something like that i don't even know yeah. what color yeah. blue it, is. It, it just doesn't really fit i'll say thank god he has that beard because it's an yeah. f without the beard it's an f without the beard and he's got a good smile i think that kind of yeah. saves him a little bit as well he's, otherwise he's it looks like a chick dude. who just had a psychotic breakdown let's okay bit. let's let's be completely honest deandre yedlin he's got sauce He's, he does he's got sauce. the fucking sauce. He he yeah. is. If anybody on the team is going to rock that hairstyle, it's going to be him. Mm-hmm. And he pulls it off. But I don't know. I mean, look, if if that's what gets him in the right mindset for guitar, he just he better back it up. He better so, back it up. So notice that he does this whenever he switches to the MLS. He would have never done this in England or Turkey. This shit ain't flying. Hell no. No. Yeah, yeah, he's in Miami. He's been listening to too much Bad Bunny. You know, that's what it is. Yeah. I think that's it's the, it a little bit. He just he he went to Miami too quick. He should have eased into it a little bit. <laughs> should have yeah. eased into it. <laughs> I'm sticking with my B plus though. Uh, I feel like this is going to be the most controversial. So y'all let us know DeAndre Yedlin's grade down below in the comments. Let's keep it oh, pushing. Yeah. Jake's favorite player, Anthony Robinson. What y'all what y'all thinking? That he, middle he, picture. He's had this epic. for a while. <laughs> What the hell is he doing? Fulham should have canceled that pick immediately. Be like, bro, you got to smile oh, or God. frown at least. But you imagine? <laughs> can you imagine this man scores a fucking goal and that and shit? He, and he literally up just on the stares at the camera. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. To be fair, in his defense, I think the full picture he's holding a lightsaber. I just zoomed in on his head. Okay. okay. All right. Look. Yeah. That's not like his official Fulham.com. <laughs> yeah. That's still look, kind of funny. Either either way, the the man. He looked like a Q-tip. He looks like a Q-tip. Yeah. Uh, it's it's just not it's not doing it for me. The fade on the side is clean. Mm. Is clean. That is a nice fade. It's I mean it, the fact that it fades with like an inch margin at the top. That's clean. You know, his barber knows what the fuck he's doing. So yeah. it's good. I like the little scruff on the chin. I'm about that. I think he rocks that shit. But yeah. I don't, I don't know. The man's head is too big to have. To have his hair styled like that. It's too long, isn't it? It's too long. Yeah, it looks a little I feel long. Like it's too long. It's like it's like me whenever they make my hair grow for like a show that I'm in. It's just it's like it makes my head look even larger than it is. And as a as a as a uh another big head out here, like mm-hmm. I, I gotta give the man some tips. I'm gonna be like, look, man, you you need a, a shorter haircut to, <laughs> yeah. to pull that shit away. Cause like look at the left one, the man's neck. I mean, what about it? It's so long. Like he looked like a damn giraffe, and then with the hair on top, it's just it's too oh, much. There's God, a lot going. Oh, it looks like the Houston okay. Texans quarterback. I can't even remember his name right now. We got that big ass neck, dude. Um, I just I see what you're saying. I think I would go B minus because I think there are elements, like you said, the fade is fire. The yeah. fade itself is fire, but yeah, I'm, I don't know what and, we do. And here. the hair, the hair looks healthy. It's a good hairstyle. I just don't think it works with him. My guy, it's it's solid, well executed. It's just not for you. You know what I'm saying? What you feel about that little little patch on his chin? I said I liked it. I like the okay. scruff. I think it okay. looks good. So and in the two photos on the left and right, it looks like it's it's actually grown out a little more. Or yeah. is that just me? I think it looks a little better grown out. Yeah. It gives him some age, I think. It boosts yeah. his age by like two to three years over his actual age. Mm-hmm. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. I'd like to. It, I'd like to see him with the Thierry Henry conservative. Okay. Just like a little bit on top, and then keep keep the scruff right here. I think that could be tough. That's final form. 
it, it, it'll okay. it'll be uh on on some real Ferdinand shit, okay. you know. Yeah, he he does look a little too NBA summer league on the left. You know what I'm saying? Like okay. you could put yeah. a Lakers jersey on him, and I mean he looked like he's trying out for the point guard spot. Yeah. Uh, so, yep. so maybe maybe a little more professional, like like you're saying, Connor. I mean, now that he's back in the prem, maybe maybe it's time. Maybe it's time. Maybe it's time. Maybe it's time. So give okay. me a letter grade, y'all. B. I got to give it C. C minus. Okay. C minus. Okay. All right. All right. That's fine. That's fine. Tyler Adams. What are we thinking here, guys? This man got the head to rock this haircut. This is this is what I'm saying. This this shit looks good on him. On the right, you can see the fade on the side looking pretty damn good. Like on the left too, you mm. can see it looks good in the back. It looks like uh, what's a point guard for uh, Atlanta? Trey Trey Young. <laughs> It looked like Trey Young, Young except but Tyler good. Adams got more hair than Trey. That's yes, yeah. definitely. Yeah, Trey. Trey Young objectively got that better looking. Balding. In yeah, <laughs> every sense. <laughs> Tyler That's Adams, you got them. You got them good genetics. So uh, you just keep that hairline uh, pushed forward, and uh, and we'll be in good shape. I, I, I'll give that straight away. I feel like this is pretty easy. I, I give this like an A minus. That's high. What you thinking, Jake? I was B thinking plus a, a minus. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to C too. Wow. Damn. Wow. It's just it, it looks ahead, a little easy. like I don't know if unkept is the word, but I think he could do something a little more on the sides. Yeah. Okay, but to be fair, the man is post game in all of these pictures, I'm pretty sure. Nah, dude, that middle one, that's signing for leads. That's like, signing for leads? That, that's like I got ready for two hours. Yeah. That's a little concerning. His that's hair is a little, flag. it's, it's flag. very spherical there. Yes. You know, it's very round. I don't know why he did it. The shape is weird on the head. I like it. I mean, I think it's good. It's a solid fade, but uh, yeah, no, you know what? I'm sticking with B plus, B plus, A minus. Now I we have to keep in mind. on the side. He's got to clean it up. Yeah. Well, we have to keep in mind that he's potentially our captain going into the group stages, so. He's got to okay. keep it somewhat professional, somewhat clean cut. He can't go full Yedlin, go out there. That's or maybe true. he could, and then that'd be really hard. And then we bow out immediately. Maybe he thinks if he goes too drastic with the hairstyle, then the expectation for him and other Americans in the prem will go up. So he's like, all right, let me, let me keep it chill. Let me ball out five to ten games, and then yeah. I'll come in with a Mane strip. Ooh, that I would think be that's the dirty. Point. That would be dirty. He could do think, it, too. I think he could use that. He could use the money strip. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. For sure. But Definitely. I think it's tough. I like it. I'm okay. rocking with it. No, that, that, that's fair. I, I don't hate it. I just think he, I think our boy could do a little better. All right, so Tim Weah apparently is just like a model in his spare time because every single IG pick is like a professional photo shoot. I didn't know that. Um, I mean, he is glistening in that middle photo. <laughs> yeah. My man. God he's got, damn. He's, what's that Harry Potter line? He's like, she's got nice skin. <laughs> That's it. He's got nice skin. The man. I don't he, think I, don't I see remember a that on him. <laughs> That's flawless. That might have been it from Bridgerton, Connor. I know you that, watched that. That might have been the erotic version of <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> that I was can't fucking stand you guys. No, <laughs> the director's cut. Yeah, that didn't. Yeah. That didn't make the theater version. Um, you guys are just fake fans, is what I'm hearing. But I, okay, I like it. I like it on the left. He got fucking sixty to seventy pounds of uh fucking swag on his fucking neck there yeah and that's why he's looking I down mean, that the hairline looks fucking crisp there's not a bald mm. spot in there not it's all uniform like the man is blessed with some genetics on right in motion poetry in motion this man's barber needs a raise he better be tipping this man i'm, I'm gonna go b and, and, and a strong b but i agree with everything i think i feel like he gets touched up every other day yes yeah M max oh yeah you Easily. know the barber. The his barber makes house calls. Yes, his barber comes to his house, and you know it's how, like, like a thirty minute thing. Sometimes lived with the family. He might. He might live with Tim oh, Yeah, yeah. Maybe twice a day. Sometimes he's like, I don't like half time. This. Half yeah. time. He's not feeling it. He had a bad first half. Literally it invites him in the locker room. Like, yo, just touch up the side real quick. Mm -hmm. This one speck of hair threw me off. That's honestly the dream. Honestly, y'all better not monetize us early because, I mean, if I get this money, I'm going to act up. I'm going to stop the stream halfway through. I'm going to say, mm, hold You're on. You're just going to be on, on, on camera just getting a fade. The man's, yeah. I'm going to be getting a fade and I'm going to be talking to you guys, talking shit about these fades while I'm getting fucking touched up. It's going to be incredible. Now that's final form right there. That's final form right there. <laughs> Hairstyle video while getting a, hair, a haircut. <laughs> that would be next level. That would be next level. That would be. Um,
I'm I, I'm I'm gonna give this a solid B plus. Okay. okay. I was feeling it. it. I'll give it an A minus. A minus. Okay. okay. Clean lines. You know, you you know this guy's gonna be dirty on the pitch when you see this. I feel like mm. he's scary. You see him walking in. Yeah, he's like looking down all the time, adjusting his cleats just so you can see that the hairline is still there. Like yeah. I don't be I can't be doing that. You know, I'm always looking up. I don't want mm-hmm. you guys to see. Yeah, this screams 92 pace in FIFA. It does. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe that's why he keeps it low. Aerodynamic. Got to be Aerodynamic. as fast as possible. That's what it okay. is. Yeah. I'm going to bump mine to a B plus. I, I actually, I think it's clean. I think it's real. It clean. is. Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Next. All right. All right. This, this is LeBron one. LeBron James of soccer. Let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I've, been, I've been waiting for this one. I'm going to let you guys take this first because I'm, I have my reservations. Take it, Jake. Uh, okay, I'll go first. Okay. <laughs> There's a part of me that actually thinks that he can rock it. Now, is he a professional footballer or is he part of a boy band? I couldn't tell you if I didn't know who this man was before. You know, if he was just like uh, that picture on the right, shit, he could be a rapper for all I know. It does. It does look like give me G Easy vibes a little bit, or yeah. like a Bieber clone or something. Yeah. MG, MGK sort of. Yeah. yeah, more MGK than yeah. yeah I mean, you got the tats too. I see you it. You got the I tats too. Here's 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 my concern. Here's my concern. Rodrigo De Paul has a very similar haircut, right? Yes. It's like it 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 kind of speaks to uh to like the rugby hairstyle. You know, short on the sides. It's a clean fade nice length that blends into his facial hair really well it works i just don't know if he's that guy you know what i'm saying like if he's getting starting minutes wherever he's at then i would be oh. i would be a little more supportive you okay. know but he's not that guy i don't know if if this hairstyle mm. speaks to that like this mm. is e-boy fuck boy 2022 central right here and i just don't know if he's got it like that so no offense okay. to my boy, um, Captain America, but I mean, I'm just, I'm, I have my reservations about this. Okay. No, I, I'm I see gonna what you give mean. it. A, I'm gonna see C, C, C flat, okay. C flat. You gotta earn this hairstyle. You gotta earn this hairstyle because it's fucking okay. good. It's a nice haircut. He looks good with it. I'm gonna give it a C. <clears throat> I'm gonna give it a. I'm gonna give it a B minus. I think he's got like on the right. I think it looks the best because he's got the scruff with with mm-hmm. the clean shave. I don't like it. Too the young. Clean shave, it, the clean shave. I give it a C minus. Yeah, you got you got to have some of the mustache. The, the rugby players have already been here. They've been here for yes. years. The New Zealanders. I mean, they've been tearing this haircut up for decades. Yes. I mean, just look at the Paul. He 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 had a different hairstyle when he didn't have a beard. When he yeah. grew the beard in, he got that. You just oh, yeah. you need another element. Especially when you dye it too. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I just Yeah. I don't think it I don't think it's bad, but I, I do agree that I don't I don't know if it fits completely. I don't know if it fits. Yeah. Well said. Well said. I mean So I would grade it a B plus. And okay. I kind of view this as Pulisic's uh his his ode to Beckham, if you will, where Beckham you know, went from a footballer to a brand. I think this is him trying to be that. This is Pulsa Could trying be. to become a brand and trying to be more than just a footballer. Could be. Be more okay. recognizable. Because him in, in his natural brown hair color, I think he looked like he was 12 years old, 13 years he old. Did. It, he did. It, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not unique. Really. And now with this hair, as Captain America, the LeBron James of soccer, he, he can maybe propel himself to be the future sex symbol for the uh, men's national team. Probably, probably. I mean, if that's what he's going for, then maybe this is a step in the right direction. I was I checking know. the comments section on this latest IG post. There were a ton of girls in there. So, I mean, if it's working, it's working. I just if hope he is working, that working. guy. Yeah. And to be clear, I think this is a step up from his last haircut. I agree mm-hmm. with Jake. He was a boy with that haircut. This is a, a step into manhood. This is a man's so, haircut. Is it a little fuckboy, though? Yes. Yeah. Oh, without you a doubt. You need that. You absolutely you need, that. need that. You don't survive in the Premier League without that. I'm just and hoping that he is that guy. Yeah. But we'll see. 
We'll see this season oh, in, at, we at, the, will. Uh, at the World Cup. All right, Miles Robinson. Right from the jump, I'm, I'm going to go B- minus again. I think it's clean. Edges look good. I think the goatee is nice. Fits his face. Yeah. But there's just nothing special here. Yeah. 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 I like that. I like that. B minus C plus. I'm I'm yeah. here for it. It's a good haircut. I really like the way the back is faded up. Like, mm -hmm. oh, I mean, yeah. that's 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 nice. Like you can see he's got a nice hairline back there. He's got a nice hairline up front. But yeah, yeah, I, I, I'll stick with that. B minus. Okay. Short and yeah, to the point. I'll say B as well. Yeah. Short and to the point. Excellent job, okay. Miles. You're saving there our viewers go. some valuable time. Yes, exactly. Thank you, Miles. We need more like you. All right, Serginio Dest. Oh. <laughs> no, dude. I'm going to go D minus on this one. I really don't like his hair. It's got to be an F. It's, it's got to be an, to an F. F. Dude, if you're a D minus, it's got to be an F. Damn, y'all think so it's close. that bad? It's so close to an F for me. I but think the, the facial waves. hair saves him. The facial look at the hair saves him for me. Yeah, the facial hair is a huge bonus, but look at the waves he got in the middle. Like, it's good. It's solid. The man's just, you know, he's fighting an uphill battle with that hairline. It doesn't really fit his yeah. face, I feel like. Like, it yeah. makes his yeah. forehead look massive in the right he, picture. He's and got he, always, very... he, he always runs with his mouth open as well, and I don't think that that helps his case. I... <laughs> Yeah. With that hair Look, specifically. The, the guy's got a very unique face. So I, I agree. It's got to be a bitch and a half trying to find the right hairstyle to, you know, to fit him. He's a very unique looking dude. Um, yeah. Not to say that he's unattractive. I think he's a pretty good looking dude, but I, I just don't. I, he hasn't found it yet. He hasn't found it yet. This is right. this is this is he's in his Christian Pulisic boy phase right here. A the next haircut. Yeah is going to be the important one. You know, that's going to be the I guess decider. I feel like we've been here for too long. You know, yes. I, I'm running out of patience. It's that's become stagnant. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can yeah. get behind that. I mean, if his, if his hair is really going like that, I mean, now's the time, bro. You know what I mean? Like, you got to you gotta do something now. That's yeah. how I see it. Yeah. Okay. Plus, it, okay. Ain't like, it ain't like bro doesn't have the money to, like, fix his hair if he really, if he really wants to. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, yeah. It's almost oh, lazy yeah. to me. I think it's laziness. Mm -hmm. he's content with, with with this very pretty basic uh pretty basic hairstyle and you can't play for Barcelona. this is why chavi wants him out yeah this but is it i wouldn't start him because chavi I, I mean maybe he needs to hit up chavi's barber honestly maybe maybe i think he needs to go to yedlin's barber personally <laughs> <laughs> i think that's what's missing all right brendan aronson i'm gonna go I'm going to go A minus. Really? Even as a Leeds hater, you went A minus? I don't hate Leeds. I actually really like Leeds. They're just going down. <laughs> it's nothing personal. I don't know how many times I just say two this things in this goddamn show. I hope, they, I hope oh, I'm wrong. They're just going God. down. <laughs> um, he probably looks like, well, first off, he looks like every dude in my brother's fraternity at Boulder. Yeah. They all look like Brendan Aronson. He okay, easily yeah, look. played lacrosse. Let's let's hey he dude, a, you took yes. the words right out of my mouth. You couldn't have said it better. Look, let's not kid ourselves. This is the fraternity white boy haircut of 2022. Yes. Like it's surfer waves, the curls, but by the same token, it looks good. He's it rocking him. it. I yeah. like it when he puts the headband in. I think he rocks that. So yeah. It, it it works. I'm gonna go. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll go. I'll go B plus. Just uh, it, it would be an A, but points for no creativity have been taken away. So, um, yeah, B plus. I, I feel like if you pictured like a upper middle class white dude from Connecticut in that in the surrounding area, this is what would pop up in my head. Yeah, this hairstyle. Yeah. to me. Not that that's a bad thing. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, it looks great. That's just that's just what it is. Agreed. And he's young, too, so it makes sense. Yeah. I feel like the women in Leeds and in England in general probably love this hair. Yeah. Yes. I think so. I think they probably do. I'm trying to think if anybody on his team looks like him. Maybe like... I mean, he probably got the same hair length as Luke Ayling, but he, he ties his up. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. Luke, and, and Luke Ailings is iconic. That, that shit's unique to him, you know? Yeah. Like, 
Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm sticking with B plus. I think it's good. There's there's not a lot of creativity or originality here, but the man's rocking it. Mm -hmm. Um, the thing is, he got what he knows. He's he's got something easy, manageable down. He puts the headband in less time on the barber, more time on the pitch. Yeah, that's what I'm that's what I'm about right here. And sometimes that's what we need. That's what yeah. we need. You're goddamn right. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Okay. Matt Turner. Man got that neck beard going. I'm sorry. That's trash. <laughs> the man do look like he rides an Amish horse and buggy is what he, he does look like Amish. Yes. He does look Amish, he right? He really does. Wow. Especially right? in that middle Holy picture. Oh my shit. God. He yeah. can easily wear overalls, like you said. I never yeah. thought about that. He looked like Jedediah, Jedediah Turner, right there. Oh my <laughs> God. Jedediah. He really does, though. Oh Jedediah. My oh my that's, God. That's an F, then. That's an F. Dude, at most, it's a D. Like, that's the ceiling. Yeah. Yeah, that's brutal. That's he brutal. Looks, well, I, th I think he the looks right. so much older than he is. Yes. I, I think the right, the right most picture, he looks, he looks the best. Yeah. But, yeah, overall, I think I'm going to have to hit it with a, 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 a D. D, yeah, solid D. Yeah, I'm Just going across D. the board right there. I'm going F. I know this man has got to be hairy as fuck everywhere <laughs> else on his body. See, even if he isn't, he's he's given us the vibe that he is, yeah. which is on him. Which is on him. Yeah, he oh, could yeah. be as clean as a little baby. But no, he, he, I, he looks I, like I'm he's got hair like going full, down to his neckline. Full ball fro going all the way up to his chest pubes <laughs> that just like meshes with his neck beard. Don't mess with the Zohan vibes, yeah, for sure. Oh yeah. God, really though? <sighs> yeah, look, the the man needs to edge up his beard. I would say he needs to rock the five o'clock shadow for a while. Maybe just a straight mustache. Yeah, would be a good move for him right now. I don't know yeah. what his jawline is and, looking like with yeah. the shave, but but yeah. And he got a full head of hair. I feel like he can. He's got the ability to change it up. Yeah. Look, he's he's afraid. Def as a man with a five head, I this he he's he's worried. You can't see what I'm pointing to. You sense but on fear. the left, I, I sense fear right there. You see that hesitance in the leftmost picture. Yep. You see he's got a nice hairline just up and to above his eyebrows, like a, a an inch above his eyebrows. It's all looking good. But then he's got that little tuft of hair. Look, I do it too. You see this shit? It swoops over like we're not fooling everybody. With the goddamn reflective mirror here, I could, this is advertising space that he's wasting <laughs> right there. Like, the man could get a Coca Cola, but he could get the Emirates mm. logo right here. Okay, you know, like it, he's he's worried. So I think he just needs to take a bold move. Maybe go for a buzz yeah. cut and grow the beard out, or mustache and, and oh, uh, do a like buzz a, cut. A Matt Turner thing. with the clean beard would look pretty cool. That oh, he's a starting keeper. He, he might even get. He might even be able to get the money strip. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I don't know if he's got it like that. But what if he just? What if I he think just would... spikes it up? Like he keeps the fade on the side, but he just has a short spike, like an inch tall. I don't know if he's got it like that. Like the man, yeah. the man wants something clean, conservative. This is this gives me uh, Aronson vibes that again. You know, he wants though. something simple that he can just stick his head under the faucet and hit the pitch. It would be a statement. See, this Agreed. just this just this looks like I want to be the backup at Arsenal. That's my problem with this. Yeah, I agreed. need I need the spiky hair. He shows up, spiky hair to training. Aaron Ramsdale's like, oh fuck. You know I'm what I'm thinking? Now. You know what I'm thinking? He's got to hit up Anderson's hairstylist because yes. they've got yeah. the same sort of taper right here okay. on the yeah. side. They've got the same sort of taper, so maybe if he grows mm. the top out, I don't know how thin his hair is, but if he grows the top out, maybe he can get like a pompadour sort of thing going on. I really don't know. Yeah. But he's in so dire need of some, some product. So so Ederson's hairstylist and maybe Allison's beard specialist? I, I was going to say that. He's got to go both. Studs. Yeah, there it is. There it is. And it's, he's it's going to cost gotta a take... lot, but it's oh, yeah. worth it. It is worth it, and he's got the money now. He's in England. That's why he moved. Honestly, he was like, "I'm sorry, Leon offered me starting minutes, but I can't. I, I need the I need the money for my hair." So yeah, I'm looking forward. This is uh, to your renovation, to your renaissance, shall we say? Please, it, it's salvageable. We'll we'll just. I really hope that change comes before it's hard. This is my A plus, A plus, A plus. Yeah, yeah. Done. This yeah. is a, this is a full stop. It's a full stop. 
it's iconic. He's got the nice little fade back there. He's also flexing with the full, full amount of hair up there. Like the yeah. the the little blonde spot, it's perfect. I mean, yeah. don't change anything, Weston. Look at that picture on the right. Look at that picture yeah. on the right. I feel it I fits know. his play style and his personality perfectly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, he should he should keep this until he's like 35. And then 100%. maybe move on. That'd be hard. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if he's 34 playing for the US, he's still he's still got that. I mean, shit, I'll buy his jersey. That yeah, this is is an undisputable A, I think. Yeah. Unless you yeah. just screw Jake. No. You look like no. you want to say B plus over there. No, no, it's an A for sure. Okay. All right. Beautiful. <laughs> That's unanimous. Unanimous A. Thank you, Weston. Okay. Okay. So I give this, I actually think it's a B minus. Okay. I think. And I, I thought this today when I was putting this together. If there's anybody who was going, who could play Spider Man on the U.S. Men's National Team roster, who could follow up Tobey Maguire, I think it would be Luca De La Torre. Are y'all seeing that? Yeah, he does got that innocent look to his face. I guess maybe. Yes. I got yes. no fucking idea what you're talking about. Like he looked like, like Peter eternal Parker. boyhood. Okay. He he I, could have I, been Peter Parker to me. I think he looks like if you hit the uh, create generic Spanish midfielder on uh, FIFA, like that's this is what would come out. Like wow. I, I understand, but it just looks basic to me. You know what I'm saying? Like there's no creativity here. You could see the man's clean shaven before every match. Maybe that's part of his ritual. I'm okay with it. I just think maybe a mustache, maybe a fade on the sides would be better. But it's it's a little too basic white dude for me and that, dude, that is, picture yes. on the right is so bad that is a that terrible is a angle rough, for this dude it makes him look like picture. he's like 100 pounds he just looks yeah. sad all the time <laughs> it does. It he never does, looks happy dude. ever <laughs> and that's why i feel like i don't know where this man goes because he doesn't talk he's not expressive at all like he literally just wants to pass he's a straight hustler though on the pitch whenever he plays yeah. for the u.s so yeah and you know what the hairstyle reflects his personality it's safe it's conservative it fits hard work he looks like he's got some product in it it's it's conservative he could rock a mustache i think him playing in spain though won't help that case but if he played like in the mls for some reason he played for like like cincinnati damn he could rock a mustache I think he's got to do. He's got to do the okay. Jack. He's got to do the Orlando Bloom mustache with a little bit on the chin. You know what I'm saying? I completely agree. Yeah, completely yeah, agree. It looks like hell on Jack, but this guy could pull it off. Probably, if he, so. Even if he just got that thin, like I'm talking a thin mustache. Yeah, mm-hmm. you, dude. You know what he looked like? He looked like. Uh, oh my god, he looks like uh, Count of Monte Cristo. He looked like fucking uh, the pencil, the pencil stash. Right here, you know, where they shave the top half of it, like World okay. War II stash, you know, like the really thin okay. stash. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. Like, um, what, who's Daisy married to in The Great Gatsby? Rhett? Is that his name? Shit, dude, I don't know. Do you speaking shit? I have no idea. He's, he's got the, I'm, I'm a little too cultured for you guys. It's okay. Uh, but just, I'm going to bring it back just like a little pencil stash right here. Like yeah, 1920s, uh, 1940s. Um, French sort of deal. I think he could rock that. He could rock that. That would okay. give him authority and just a little bit of panache, you know, like some sauce right yeah. there. That's yeah. it. You're welcome, Luca. We did that for you. A, a, a little more masculine, I think it, w- it would help him out. Agreed. Yes. Yeah. Like if, you t- if he was walking on the street and he was like, I play for the U.S. men's national team, people would be like, no, you don't. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sure. Like, Prove He's got to play the part a little bit more. Yeah. He's got to pull out photo ID so they can match up the name because they're like, this looks a little too generic. Like, you could pull yeah. up all the pictures and they would be like, okay, yeah, but like, I know a hundred guys that look like this, you know? Yeah, exactly. Like, a lot of guys could use his, his fake ID. Yes, you know 100%. Yeah. yeah. Okay. His sure. photo on the fake ID. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. Generic. <clears throat> we, we, yeah, we got to help this man. We got we to gotta get in contact with his agent or something. Um, what y'all think about Gio Reyna? Here's my take on Gio Reyna. 
the man has a really unique face, so I think he could pull off whatever hairstyle he wanted. That being said, he has the exact same fucking haircut as Luca. Same, same cut. No, it's a little different. It looks yeah. way better on this guy. It, it is looks different. way better on this guy. I want to see more, though. Hold I want to see some that shows us he got that dog in him. Look at that. So look at the picture on the left. Look at okay. this one. He got that dog in him. He got that dog in him. And He's got I like a different that. hair type than... Yes. He's got Agreed. thicker hair, like He's much thicker hair than Luca. Much thicker hair, yeah. Luca's is a little more coarse. Yeah. This, this dude's got fluffy hair. He almost looked like DiCaprio a little bit in that middle one. He looked like DiCaprio. Yep. Spot on. Which means he could rock whatever fucking hairstyle he yeah. wanted. I want to see something different. So does, yeah, okay. So does he owe it to the fans to do something more? He owes it to all the women that he hasn't responded to in his DMs. Maybe he's doing this to minimize the amount of DMs that he receives because he Ooh. knows if he gets the money strip, it's fucking over. You're right. You're right. The man's focused. He's like, I'm, 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 I'm working on these knees. You know, my knees are too weak to bear yeah. the massive weight of all these DMs. So I gotta, I gotta just take a little weight off the top and and just okay. keep my head down for a little bit. But yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I, honestly, dude. I hear what you're saying. I'm going to give it A minus, though. I think it's tough. You know what he needs? He needs some big ass earrings, bro. <laughs> that shit would look fire, like, bro. Like studs or something? He needs I'm some I'm saying studs. diamonds. He, he needs, needs some no, diamond yeah, yeah. studs. Yeah, yeah. Diamonds, preferably. Diamonds, preferably, bro. Agreed. I, I, I don't feel think... he needs some arm tats, like a full arm sleeve. Oh, if yeah. He, came out he, the guitar. he needs a full arm sleeve. Yes, for sure. He needs one on his rib cage, you know, like a rib piece. That's that's what my guy needs, dude. He needs some Roman numerals going down the neck right here. Yeah, that shit. Yep. I mean, he wouldn't golden boot at yeah. the World <laughs> Cup at that point. That's I think that's Geo's final form is neck tat. Here's your recipe for Not success, Geo. I also think he could rock the stash, but it might be too much. Like you see, he's got the beginnings of one in that in the middle one and on the left. You can see mm -hmm. right, but. I don't know. I don't. I don't know if it's time for that yet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, give it like okay. four or five years, and then yeah. full stash could be, okay. could be a go. Operation uh, <laughs> Giovanni Stash. Okay. Yeah. yeah maybe I'll, stash I'll, I'll give it a here. C. C plus. Okay. That low. That low. That, that I mean, if I really, harsh. if if I wanted to give it like a B minus, maybe kind of in the Aronson thing, like. Points taken off for unoriginality. The man's got too much that he's working with. The man is blessed. He's got a great head of hair, great hairline. He, I think he needs to be doing more with it. So this is like a, I see your potential. I'm disappointed in you. Okay. B minus. So I'm going to give it a B plus. B plus. And the only reason why I'm going to give it a B plus, I agree with everything that y'all are saying, but, you know, if you look historically, his dad, Claudio Reyna, is... One, the ugliest motherfucker I've ever seen. And so really? his, his, his son is a step up. And two, his dad is considered, you know, one of the best, I think, products the U.S. has ever produced. And so there's a lot of weight on Geo's shoulders. And so I think he's trying to play it a little more conservative because I think if he goes out there and he gets some crazy sort of cut or if he has some weird fucking facial hair that might tarnish his family's legacy in a way, you know, and. There's so much runway for this kid. I, I mean, what, he's 18, 19? So yeah, 18, 19, something like that. Crazy. Yeah. So B plus for me. Uh, his, his father is an unfortunate looking man. He, he looks like... Uh, <laughs> I just confirmed that as well. <laughs> I just confirmed that. He looked like my boy. Uh, oh, no. He looked like Riquelme a little bit. <laughs> he he like does Riquelme. a little bit, bro. He he Dude, he looks like he's... He's he's straight from Kazakhstan or some shit. He's he's like not very brutish features. Dude, in in the in the younger day playing photos, he kind of got that Marcus Acuna neck. Oh, kind of got the rough. thick neck, bro. That's rough. I mean, honestly, Geo kind of got a thick neck. Geo do kind of got a thick neck, but there the, you know there are worse things to uh, yes to have because Acuna got that dog in him. Geo got that dog in him. So maybe that's just indicative. Yeah.
Maybe. Gio, it, Gio is far better looking than Marcus Acuna, though, I have to say. His mother is a Swedish smoke show, is what she looks like. I have no idea where she's from, but Gio, say thank you to your mother next time you're on. Next time you see her. Yeah, yeah give, her, give her an extra big hug. Okay, Jesus Ferreira. Um, I'm going to give it a C-, minus, and it is purely because of the facial hair. I hate it. What the beard is awful bro just unclean it's awful I, I just don't understand it what are you fucking on about like the man's going through his patchy phase for sure but like on the left like he looks like the final form of Noke Maka. like he is fucking <laughs> rocking it he looks like an a plus no, i'm dude, not the kidding ha- the man looks like a stud he looks the fucking hair is awesome. a the hair is a the beer for me d minus he looks it's... like he could put on a cowboy hat and fucking ball out to Norteño the whole fucking night. And I hope that's not insensitive. Yeah. I mean that in the best way possible. Like, this man will party with you until 6 a.m. drinking modelos, yeah. like, especial. You know that's it. all he drinks. The I one thing it. I would recommend, the earrings. I think he needs some big old diamond studs. He's Same got one right on now. the left. I see it. I see it. But I'm saying, like, I want that yeah. shit in big game time. It's not big enough. I want the diamonds in that motherfucker. I think he looks cold as fuck. That's an A plus for me. I love the mullet. It's good hair. Like on the yeah. left, that shit's shining. It's nice. I'm I'm here for it. I gotta agree with Connor. I think it's an A. As much as I love to hate oh, yeah. on this man on the yeah. pitch whenever he plays, he looks clean here in photos. I wish that he could back it up, dude. Yeah. I wish that he could back this haircut up. Because yeah, I think he if looks you shave clean. that beard. I think he'd start putting those chances away for the US. <laughs> Maybe so. <laughs> I, I want him to keep the stash. That's all I'm saying. See, I'm okay with the stash. The stash totally okay nice. with the stash. It's really the beard for me. What is, is it around the cheeks that bothers you? Because a little bit, a little bit on the cheeks. Yeah, but underneath too. I I get it. Like it does come like from the bottom of his chin, bordering neck beard. But I think yeah. it frames his face well. There is a little bit too much length in the beard. Actually, now that I'm looking at that middle photo. Yeah, it's a it's like headed towards James Harden beard, and, and I don't like that. I don't like okay, that. Okay, I don't know if it's that level, but okay. Not when not when he's like full beard length, but like right now he's got that shit trimmed a little bit. Nah, it kind of looks like Ferrera, dude. Kind of looks like Ferrera. That's all I'm both saying. Both bottlers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> both absolute bottlers. Both right. fold in crucial moments. <laughs> Ricardo Pepe, dude. This is an F. This is Holy F for me. Shit. That picture <laughs> on the left, I've never seen it before. He look. Remember when I said uh, Q-tip earlier? This is yeah. Q-tip. Dude, this maximum. guy got the Dumbo ears. I feel so bad for him. Uh, but yeah. why does he have this hairstyle with the Dumbo ears? I don't you know, can't man. like the fade is too high for the Dumbo ears. You're right. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Damn, he could rock some long hair. Yes, like with yeah. really headband. well, I think because he's got cold. nice hair. He's got yes. nice hair, but yes. Dude, he, he needs, needs some Diego product Linus. in that. He needs the Diego Linus hair for me. I just oh, I have no idea. Medium what to hairstyle. long Mexican hair. That's what he needs right now. I think it'd be fire, and he's gonna start scoring immediately in the Bundesliga. Okay, okay, okay. I like, dude, that. if I'm dude, if I'm I a center back and I see that guy in the center, I'm gonna laugh and put a shoulder on him and yeah. knock him to the ground. I'm going to make him look like a fool, for sure. Yes, like, it's just, I don't know, bro. He, he it looks like a, I don't know, he looks like a finance bro in a fraternity. It's just not good. <laughs> yeah. It's not good at all, bro. D minus. Yeah, agreed. D minus. Uh, I'll fuck it. I'll go F. It's an F. Yep, I'll go F. Yep, yeah. I'm going F. I'm hard. Hard wow, F. First unanimous F. <laughs> I've, I've never noticed that. That is crazy, man. The man needs help, and i i don't know how oh, to help him because even, even the linus might be enough might he's not got be enough wings on his head that's he's so got, sad. he got wings on his head and look look on the left one how the back of his skull goes in it goes in and <laughs> like that's just unfortunate <laughs> so i don't know how to i don't know how to fix that like it looks Dude. like his it looks like his ears go out for sure but it looks like there's extra skull that's pushing it out uh-huh. that accentuates yeah. Him. Yeah. well just, you got you got to cover it that's all. It's not. Shit. It's not like we can't. We can't save this situation. You just got to cover it up. I hope. That's I hope all. there's a future for you, Peppy. Just don't. Don't get a haircut. Don't talk to your barber. Delete his phone. Block him. Send him a postcard yes. with no return address. Say, look, it's not you. It's me. Hit him with one of those. You had to break up with your barber dog. 
yeah. this time. And the, even on the cheek, dude, like the beard is. <sighs> yeah, the, the beard I, I don't is wanna, pretty rough. I don't want to keep dragging this man, but yeah, no, he need, he to, need yeah. help. Just get the Diego Linus, bro. I promise you, you're gonna start mm-hmm. banging him in. All right, um, Yunus Musa. I'm gonna go B for B. me. Oh. No more, no less. That's what I said. B. Here's here's my thing. Here's the one on the right. I love the level to which his hair is faded there. It's like, or not faded, tapered, right? Like mm-hmm. right at the ear line. He's got a nice hairline. He's got a shit ton of hair. It looks nice. It looks healthy. This is my fucking guy. I like it. It just doesn't work with him on the left two pictures. I don't feel like, like he's a good looking dude, but I'm just not feeling it. Like this, I think some personal bias is coming in. I feel like there's greener pastures out there. So the right one would be like a B for me. I feel like I'm going to give him like a C, solid C, bang average. Okay. Okay. I I agree that he can do a little more. I think this guy, more than probably anyone else on the U.S., should dye their hair. Not all of it, but just some of it. Just a little I think bit? That would, dude, maybe even just like a little like blob Okay. on the front left. The West McKinney? I think that would be clean. Or maybe he just has a single braid. I think that would be hard. Okay. This dude would look tough in some fucking braids, some cornrows, yes. dude. Yes. This dude, oh, that would be scary. He's got that a great awesome. face. Yeah. Yeah. He needs no, the, the full dude's... chin strap, though. I feel like when I'm looking at yeah. the the middle photo especially, it doesn't seem like it connects with his chin no. beard. It's you tough. Know? It's tough. You can see on the right photo too. Like he's got it on his chin. He's there's, got like there's some sideburns. empty patches, right? Yeah. It's, yeah, it's right here, and that's a notoriously hard place to grow. Believe me, it took me years. <laughs> but so maybe it's because he's young. It's difficult. It's he's young. He's young. This is this is uh, this is his first evolution. We want to talk some Pokemon real quick. This is his this is his starter form. Okay, there's going to be evolutions past this. I have faith, my okay. boy Eunice. You you got it. You got it. Okay. I have faith here. I like I like that analogy. There's a it's lot a, of potential. It's a good it's a good starter Pokemon though. Agreed. Agreed. So I'm gonna give it a C. No like not bad, not good. Bang average. Okay. I'm staying B. I'm going B as well. All right, Walker Zimmerman. I Get like what's on top. It's a little scruffy on the bottom, my dude. Yeah. That right photo, especially. I've never noticed the neck beard before. He's he's got to clean that up. He's got to clean that up. He I want to see. I want to see crisp edges. This, I honestly, it needs now, to be like military rules. If you got it, lines, you got to make them. You got to get the right. protractor out. If I was the U.S. Federation, I would make this guy. I would clean this guy up and make him the sex symbol for Qatar. Okay. You want to look like Thor. All U.S. Yes, exactly. He needs to look like Chris Hemsworth, and that'll get sixty-five percent of the U.S. women population to watch Qatar. That's a great idea. I think you get him and Wea. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, that'll hit all demographics right there. Right there. <laughs> and Aronson, you got to get the college girls interested. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's the yeah. trifecta right there. Your Latin that, abuelita would go crazy for Aronson. That's for the sure. new Avengers. Oh yeah, right there. <laughs> new Avengers. <laughs> I agree. I, I think I think Walker Zimmerman could look like an absolute tank. He's just got to do better with the facial hair. Mm-hmm. And maybe he doesn't want to look like Thor because I don't know. Maybe either he just wants he wants to be more unique, or maybe he thinks that'll carry extra expectations. But we need some. Look, the back line. We got a lot of pretty boys back there. We need someone who looks like a savage, who looks like they're going to put in a crunching tackle. Mm-hmm. And he could be this guy. It ain't going to be Miles Robinson. It sure as hell ain't going to be Serginio Des. Let's be honest. No. Maybe, or Chris maybe, Richards. No. Or Chris, maybe Jedi. Maybe. But he's got he's to get some more facial hair. Yeah. And we got to do something about the mushroom he, top. He's got to look like he's got a 20 finesse rating and just a 90 aggression. That's yes. what we need. <laughs> Yes, yeah. 90 a great aggression, 85 strength, 85 slide tackle. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. And I just, he looks too nice. He looks like, you know what? It's like, it's like in, in Avengers, like before Steve Rogers takes the serum. I feel okay, like okay. this is like Thor 
pre serum. Okay. I feel like All that's right. what yeah. Zimmerman is. So he's right. got to take that injection. I feel like it's going to take him place. He's going to he's going to immediately have offers from Europe out yeah. of Nashville. I can I'll see tell that. you that. Right now yeah. it's just <sighs> that would be a level up for sure for him. Yeah. All right, it's Walker. Like, you you've heard you've heard the word. I'm I'm going to stick with a solid. I'll give it a C plus. I'm going to go B minus. The foundation is there, but I was going to go B. Okay. I think that's fair. Look, if any of you players are watching, we would never lead you astray. So we urge you to take our advice and just, just watch. For- just watch the dividends start rolling in, okay? Yeah, we're here for you. You win, we win. Yeah. Sure. What more could you want? Exactly. A plus, baby. A plus, a baby. Plus, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Speaking Honestly, of guys yeah. Putting in a crunch and tackle. Honestly, yeah. This shit. Honestly, this shit, uh, you know, he started going bald, and he was like, "Fuck it, I've got the wherewithal. I don't want to. I don't want to play this game." They, honestly, maybe Dest might need to take a pointer from him. Maybe. Like, just yeah, the facial hair was there. He's got the jawline. He's got the mustache. It connects. He was mm-hmm. like, "Let's do it." Full send, and like it fades. He's got a fucking fade into his beard, which is dope as hell. I love when I know. my barbers hit me with that shit. It's Dude, ideal. He, he it. might have the cleanest facial hair that I've seen so far. Oh, my God. I, I, think, I think so. so. I think so. Who? We really don't have that many good facial hairs on the team. Like Miles, no. Miles got a clean goatee, but it's not this level. When, when Pulisic grows his facial hair out, it's the Ooh. move. He's, he's got okay. a gray beard, but he doesn't have it right now. So. I think... I think John's where it's at. In all of these pictures, it looks really well kempt. I think the left is the worst one, but even then, it's good. Like, there's a clear line, and yeah. you can tell. Like, if he didn't shave it that morning, it was, you know, a day before, two days maximum, depending right. on how fast this dude's hair grows. Like, I, I think he's got it. He's got it down. This is the move. Yeah. And maybe that's why Burhalter won't start him. It's so clean. It's so good. He's just like, I can't have this on the team. He's threatened. Yeah, Burhalter is threatened. He's like, I can't have another bald man walking around here with right. better mm-hmm. facial hair than me. Mm-hmm. I mean, when you <laughs> when he's going over tactics and he's talking about how he wants to play Burhalter ball, and he looks at the locker room, you see John Brooks in that middle photo just staring at him, giving him that face. <laughs> I mean, that's why he banned him immediately. He's yeah. like, "What the fuck is this guy talking about?" Yeah, this man. Yeah, oh yeah, I agree. He's like, this that's a man crazy. who calls bullshit when he sees it. Yes. So right. you know, Burhalter passed him a bounce pass one time, and he was like. Miss me with that shit. I'm not picking that up. Pick that up. <laughs> he told Burhalter pick that shit up. I'm not. I'm not going for that. Like, no. Yeah, yeah. You know when Burhalter created the like anonymous tip basket at the front of the locker room so that everybody could talk about their feelings and everything. John Brooks was like, I'm not. I'm not having one one ounce of this. <laughs> he said, "Y'all are some virgins," and he flushed them all down the toilet. I love it. <laughs> That's my guy. And and last thing I'll say. Bonus points because he's a center back. I think there's something about a bald center back with a clean beard. It's intimidating. Horrifying. It sets the tone. You kidding me? Oh, yeah. No. I mean, we fucking, uh, uh, we're talking about coming up against center backs. I see that man in the back line. I'm passing it off. I'm laying do, it off right there. Do y'all think John Brooks could rock the Rio Ferdinand with the cornrows? No. I don't think Ma- he needs to. I don't think but he needs could to either. He? Could he? I think he could, but this is better. This is better right here. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say it's an upgrade. I think he found his look and he found it at age 22. <laughs> yeah. And he's right just he had running That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> he, he, he scored when he was bald in the World Cup. And he said, that's it. It's never coming back. I, I found it. it. This is it. Hell yeah. Yeah, this, this is a strong A. Okay, guys, so that was all for the players. This is just a little bonus topic for y'all. So I don't know if you guys have seen this, but apparently these are our kits for the World Cup. Um, oh. We got the, the home, I think the home kit is the white one. I, the away kit's the oh. blue and black t- uh, bleach. Oh. I don't know what you call that. Oh, my. And then we fuck. got a we got a gilded gray hoodie just with a U.S. logo over the chest and that's what oh. we're dealing with here so what are y'all's reactions to to what i just put up here oh my fuck this can't be it apparently I, there are many a couple sources saying that 
I've seen this all over the place. Weston McKinney was commenting on this shit on Instagram. I believe his exact words were, I tried to tell him. Yeah, you're right. I tried to tell him. You're right. And I wish they would fucking listen to Weston because I don't, I don't hate it. It just feels, it feels like we settled. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like the one on the left. I think it's a cool pattern. It's a nice shade of blue, I will say. It's a dope shade of blue. But but that's that's not it. This seems this seems too it's a comfortable. fucking training kit on the left. They're it, both they, training kits. They look like they both look like training kits. Yeah. One well said, Jake. Yep. Dude, tell me, tell me right now, guys. You take that white one, you add some long sleeves to it, it's a hockey jersey. Yeah. It looks yes. like a fucking hockey jersey. This is and like, there's no red. Where's the they're, red? They were trying to throw back to like our 2004 jerseys, I feel like. Yeah. Like, I Landon don't... Donovan could wear the white one. And yes. I'd be like, oh, yeah, that's that's a retro kit. Yes. And look, look, there's a time and place for the retro kit, but they better make this oh. motherfucker baggy. You better be tucking it into your shorts. Mm-hmm. Like, it's there's a time and place for that, but I just don't feel like now is the time. Oh, my God. Yes. I, you I'm don't not, do I'm this for the fun. World Cup. This is, no. this is, these are Gold Cup jerseys right here. Yes. Oh, my God. And yeah. not the World Cup. The, Nobody's going to remember this kit in five, six years. The time the next World Cup rolls around, we're already going to forget. Dude, this can't be it. I, I will not it, believe it. It goes against literally it, everything bro. I've ever said about jerseys. The center <laughs> logo, the, the fucking logo, dirty bro. sprite bullshit. It looks like a goddamn training kit. You got the dive suit shit going on in the middle, you know? Yeah. And, and to Connor's point, there's one little red sliver. We're the fucking red, white, and blue. Not the white and blue yeah no, we need we need more oh red my God. if that if that if the white one was red with white accents i might i might be able to get behind it but i'm maybe just not feeling that maybe i'm not feeling maybe if the I, sleeves were red or something yes the sleeves should have been red dude i don't know oh, i'm God i'm trying damn. to think you actually really, ruined my night <laughs> i haven't seen these before this is a legit reaction you ruined my night but Jake, you look so happy when you join. Dude, so the you can see the account. Uh, US Men's National Team only were the guys who I think originally posted it, but Albert DM'd me this and was yeah. like, you gotta be shitting me. And I was shout like, this has Albert. to be a sick joke. Oh yeah, shout out to Albert. But Jesus this I, I don't think it's a joke. I don't think it's a joke. But no, I don't think it is either. Look, if I think if the if the blue top, depending on what the shorts look like. I think it could be manageable. The white, I think, is god awful. I I absolutely. If you gifted that to me, I would not wear it. No. You know what they're probably going to do? They're probably going to put red shorts with the white top. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if that's the move, though. I don't. I don't know if that's the move either. That's not going to save them. You know. Oh. Oh no! I didn't say that. That was good. I'm just saying that that's how they're going to incorporate the. That's that's how they're going to rationalize it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Fair. I'm not against red shorts i think it would look cool but not with this top right especially look, not with the dark blue and this on the chest right above the logo i don't like that i, j- I just i just want to take a second my powers of deduction here and analytics um you can you uh-huh. can see in the top left corner of the blue jersey you see that hand right there clenched yeah. into a fist yeah. that's the fist of a man who made a highway robbery with a box of these jerseys in anticipation to see the sexiest oh. kit that the men's national team has released in forever. And he opened it, heartbreak. That is the fist yeah. of a man heartbroken. Yeah. He, he doesn't have the thumb down here. He's got it right here. Like, it's not like a force. It's not like anger. It's, it's just disappointment right yeah. here. He's, he, he has potential like he's of sword, 10 years in federal prison. Yes, he's like, this, this is what I this fucking what risked. Yep. This is bullshit. Terrible. And he was like, maybe the hoodie's going to be good. And he's like, no, I, I bought that hoodie from a fucking illegal street vendor. Dude, like, it just doesn't. It's a Marshall's like, hoodie. It's US a Marshall's soccer vibes. hoodie. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a Marshall's hoodie. Doesn't say anything about U.S. soccer. It could like the gray hoodie could be for any goddamn U.S. team. You know, any it could team. be for the U.S. the U.S. pickleball team, you yeah. know. This, this no, kit and- overall look like uh, De La Torre's haircut. To me, <laughs> basic as fuck. No effort put in. Damn you! Hate no it. effort, bro. What? Okay, I personally, I hate that like tie dye. What do you call that? What do you call that black shit? That's tie dye. That's just tie dye. I Straight hate up it. 
I think if you want to go club on your third kit, fair play. Nothing wrong with that. But you're one of your two kits at Qatar going with the tie dye. Not the move. Not, not the move. That's Cowboy not, should be against wrong. the law. There in should be a written black, law too. in Jesus. the FIFA yeah. Constitution that says that is not allowed. Yep. Because that is embarrassing. We're going to be, dude. Can you imagine first game playing Wales? We look in the stadium and it's just a bunch of blue. There's <laughs> no. no like there's no red, white, and blue. Yeah. Beta. It's beta, beta dude. This it's screams, beta. bro. This is why Mexico coming back, dog. Because it's shit like this. They coming back. I'll tell you right now, I'm looking at this from, from the perspective of a Mexico fan. I'm laughing. I'm laughing to the bank. Next gold cup, that's ours, baby. This is this is indicative <laughs> of allowing two goals a game. This is what it feels like. It does, dude. Soft mentality. Soft mentality. Soft. Bro, if, if they probably went to Nike headquarters and they were like, what does group stage exit look like to you? And the guy was like, one sec. And yeah. then he drew this shit up. He said, I've had this in my back pocket for years. Yeah. Oh, he said, I was going to give this to Canada, but since you guys asked, here it is. Here it this is. John, has, this has to be the training kit. The John, back John back. Brooks, I can hear him laughing from Germany right now. He oh, just finished God. moisturizing his head, mm-hmm. and he's got a big old fucking stein of beer while he's driving to work. He's laughing his ass off. Yeah. Jesus now, Christ. if this does, if this is revealed to be the training kit, that blue, <clears throat> totally okay with that. I'm, yeah, totally fine. It's a, the blue one is better, without a doubt. Yes, it, I it think is so. The best one, hands down. I don't even hate it. The average is just dragged down by the white. Yeah. I'm fucking crying. That's how disappointed I am. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, dude. I think if the white was fire, then I could have lived with that blue. Yeah. Uh huh. But it's not. It's not. Yeah. Honestly, I would have rather we just went straight like Indianapolis Colts home uniform, all white, maybe all just blue. one check of blue on one sleeve, one check of red on the other, call it a day. Yeah. But Dude, this, that'd be cold. That, that would, would be cold. cold. Ugh, that would this, be cold. I, I just want to juxtapose this with the uh, kids from the, oh. our last World Cup appearance. I mean, this is – have you seen a bigger downgrade? Sexy, dude. Look at the rocket pops. I will die on this fucking hill. You guys can come for me. That is one of the greatest jerseys that has ever been seen in international football. The one on I'm the gonna left, agree with you on that. It's, the it's rocket a, pop. It, it's a top it's ten. Sexy. That's it, gonna that's gonna scare Ronaldo. That's gonna scare Ronaldo <sighs> when you get Portugal in the fucking yes. uh, round of sixteen. You know, yes. like that is that is dope. And look at Clint Dempsey. He looked like he's about to beat the fuck out of somebody. Yeah. Like. <laughs> That's my he's a, guy. He's right a stone there. cold killer, Light like Thread. Yes. That's Christ. that's all our faces when we saw this jersey. Yes. They pulled this jersey up. Jake made that made that exact face. He was like, "What the fuck?" Clint Dempsey is looking into the future to this kid right now. And you know what? This is this just highlights another problem with U.S. soccer. The fact, dude, every team, every national team should take your most swag player, and they should be a consultant part time. On the kit designing process. Oh, yeah. Like, like France. A lia- some a lia- y'all, might, y'all might not want to hear this. Pogba needs to be consulted. It yeah. doesn't matter about his yeah. play on the pitch. Okay. The man oh, he's knows fashion. For sure. Yeah. Get him in. Fly him out to Beaverton. Get him in the lab. Every single swag player from every national team should have been there. And, they, and you know what? If Weston McKinney says, I ain't feeling this one. You listen to that man immediately. You scrap the design, you go back to zero. You don't tell mm-hmm. Weston McKinney, oh, but Weston, um, did you see the Leeds uh, away kit? It also has this tie-dye, and we're going to be super cool because now Leeds fans are, are also you. No, 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 no. You go back to zero. Miss this, me. Miss, miss me with that. Miss us with this bullshit. Miss the United States with that bullshit. At the second, if, if Hector Bellerin gets injured again, we're bringing him in. As a consultant, I want to design yes. everything. Yes, bring him in, dude. Tim, like you, I, I got a feeling Tim Wade didn't like this either. No, he said. Dude, I feel all the players like, hate this. Oh my god, god, it's bullshit. And like the that white one, that's how you do it with yes. the collar. It's clean, mm-hmm. dude. Chris, and the slightest clean. red on the sleeve. Oh Just yeah, a, and the, the blue Nike swoosh. It highlights the, the yep. badge perfectly. Like, that's it. It's that's nice. It. Honestly, just re-release that one with the new fucking badge. That's the move. Basically, like the that. U.S. 
These this look like the like, United States. That other stuff. I can hear the goddamn national anthem playing right now. Yes. What? 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 Okay. Take the take that logo away from that blue one. What? What country comes to mind when you see that? None. What country comes to mind? France, Japan. Okay, I could see Japan. Yeah, the camo, but that's yeah, it. I could kind of see Japan. My point is, it's not the U.S. It, it's no. no country. It's it's a club. Is what comes yeah. to my head. Yeah, a training kit. Yeah, yes. I mean, I can't keep saying it. It's a fucking training kit. Shambolic. So we're in agreement. It's okay. So the white one is an F. 100%. The white one is an F. The white one is a hard F. We'll be going blue. C minus. I'm going D. I go D plus. Fuck. It's fucking bang average. There's nothing to write home. It's about below that. average. It's below but, average, but it's not trash. The best thing about that kit is the crest. <laughs> The, the best one thing, about thing it. the kit designers had no say over is the best thing about the kit. And yes. they still fucked it up and they put it in the middle. And they Yeah, that's tragic. Dude. I don't I don't mind. I think there could have been like a nice 90s retro vibe going on here, but you got to do a whole lot more with this shit to to make that happen, you know? Like I want to see like a pinstriping or something or like a slash somewhere. Maybe maybe like red. Like see, check this out. If yeah. you had like a red thick band like going underneath like the uh, the oblique area, I think that would give it like a, a a '90s retro vibe that would be marginally better. I I don't know. I I have my opinions, and um, sorry to whoever's going to get fired over this because it's going to happen. It's poo poo. I mean, all <laughs> all time low kid sales. Well poo poo. Absolutely. It, well it's said. Poo poo. <laughs> it's absolute shite. Um. <sighs> So you guys let us know uh, yeah. what you guys think of the jerseys down below. We're going to go ahead and end it there, guys. Um, we hope you enjoyed our first episode as Deadball TV. I know it might take some getting used to, but honestly, I think it's got a better ring to it anyways. Um, if you're listening on streaming platforms, please give the podcast a five-star rating. I think we almost had 20 reviews on Spotify. Then we got 18 or 19. So we're, we're like creeping up there, but I would really like it if this episode could get us to 20. Um, if you are watching on YouTube, Y'all know what to do. Smash that like button and turn on the subscribe so you do not miss any future videos. And if you want to, you can turn on the notification bell so you're supposed to get an uh, extra notification. Sometimes it doesn't work, though. YouTube, they kind of be a little a bit, a little janky with that. It doesn't always work. Um, but there's only one way to find out, which is to turn it on and see if you get our notifications. Um, yep. Anything else, Connor? Um, honestly, I'm so disheartened. If you're going to show this, I'm going to ask you, in spite of the last 15 minutes or so, you should still show this to your mom, your abuelita, your girlfriend, your sister. Show it to all of them, but maybe cut it off at the end. Maybe cut it off at the end. Maybe. Your, your yeah, abuelita, she's, she's, she, her memory's not doing too well, so hopefully she'll forget it. But that initial shock, I don't know if she'll be able to withstand. So She can only take so much hurt. She can only take so much hurt. Um, yeah. Save that for the actual games because it's looking like it's going to be rough. Yeah. So. My confidence just dropped two points. Yeah, yes. for sure. And I think I think the lads are probably feeling the same. Um, that's all we got here today, folks. We appreciate you guys for watching, as always, and we'll see you on the next episode.